Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead Mission. When we left off last time, we finished episode one. Let's jump into episode two now. Give no shelter. And from this picture, it looks like we might escape, at least temporarily, from the boat, so that's good news. So when we left off last time, things were going extremely poorly for us, as we'll see here on our previously on. Listen, you hear it, right? Sounds like a woman's voice. What do we hit? Hell if I know. I can't see a damn thing. Berto, hold the wheel steady. It does kind of great that, um... Who the hell are you people? Randall! Oak was right, and we shouldn't have come to help these people, but... Oh, Looks well, like you how caught could we our know? thieves. Nice job. Uh, there's our buddy Randall. You know, every um person we find living, they got some dead with them. Who was it for you, I wonder? And uselessness stops now. Time to earn your keep. Yep. Stop. Then there was this disaster. <laughs> so long, Greg. Sorry. You fucking shot And him. then, yeah. I, I let her go ahead and take him out, matters? too. Please. Please, don't, don't, don't do this. Please. All right, and now hopefully we can jump in here. So we've got a gun that's out of bullets, and a screwdriver, and a bunch of people who are gonna come in and yeah, be really upset with us since we I did just. I, I, I've never killed anyone. Someone's coming. He he shot Greg. Yeah, he did. He shot my brother. He did. That's all I could think. He deserved what he got. Th that's what I thought, but now... Now, I don't know for sure that he deserved what he got. Um, again, I'm still just not that invested in him dying. He's doesn't. He didn't seem like a person... I mean, he. okay, so he's with this group that clearly is dubious from the start. Things are looking bad here. Although, actually, if not for Randall, I'd actually think this, this group seems pretty sad. I really... I like Norma. She seems like she's pretty legit. I think she really is trying to, to run things well here and just take care of her people, but she's got Randall, and she's he's her brother, so she's going to put up with a lot of bull out of him that really she shouldn't. I mean, he I, I lay this whole situation pretty squarely at his feet. Um, he's the one who basically I, I, I feel responsible for Greg's death in the first place, but... Like, should I have stopped Sam? I, I just don't, I don't think so. Huh? I could have, or I can just let it go this way. I don't. So I, she, he didn't deserve to die, but he didn't really do anything to deserve not to either. I don't know. I guess what it is is I, I don't feel like most people. I generally feel that people don't deserve to die, but I picked that option to because in the moment right now we need to really try and get Sam bucked up a bit, or we need to at least get through this situation before she can fall apart over the ramifications of having killed him. I'm no better than Randall. No, I think you're better than Randall. People. They're here. Alright, who's it gonna be? <laughs> Zachary! <gasps> oh, I feel bad about that. What? Z Zachary! Z Zachary! Well? Zachary killed Greg, sorry. He murdered her brother. That's all you need to know. I'm sorry. 
here. <laughs> okay. I do feel bad for this guy. Let's but... repeat and get the hell off this boat. I mean, I am sorry to leave you like this, Jonas. I really am. But we gotta go. It's just a crappy situation. I don't think there really was a good way out of it, you know? He's still up there. And he's got company. Stay here. I'll handle this one. Okay, so much as I would like to hope that we can just get Pete and go, I highly doubt it's gonna be that easy. Especially if we're stabbing everyone on our way out, which we kind of have to do to get out of here, and things are looking bad if we stay, but... Just a flare gun? Let's go. It's gonna make it harder and harder. If we, if they do catch us, you know, how are we gonna broker any peace with these people? I couldn't get anything out of them. Zachary was useless. Oh, these people just aren't talking. Yeah. Problem is, we still know nothing about him. I don't get him to talk. talk yet. Don't worry. I have to worry. After last time... With... What happened? It won't go down like that. I swear. It can't. Talk some more about last time. Hey, Pete. Oh, there we go. Come here, friend. They see me gone. You haven't got a chance of getting out of here. No, you're coming with us. We're all going together. You want to tell me how this happened? Zachary! He was guarding the door. Oh, right. Left his gun. Samantha put you up to this? Where is she? Come on. Out with it. I'm only here for Pete. If you find Sam, you can have Okay, Sam. I shouldn't have said that. Norma, forget about the girl. We can figure this out between us. I'd like that, Pete. But your friend here seems to have other ideas. Randall, sound the horn. Sure thing. Drop the machete. Get him, Sam. I no. Drop it. No. <laughs> I said drop it while you still have There we go. Alright, move quick now. Oh. oh I thought we were gonna get him. I think he was the bigger threat. His gun looked a lot more menacing than the one she was going for. <laughs> Oh! Get the gun too, Michonne. Don't don't leave the gun. We have to leave now. God damn it, Michonne! Always taking the hard road. There He's wasn't an easy way out of this, Pete. For now. Come on. I know Pete seems to think, crap, that maybe we could have talked our way out of it, worked something out with them. I, I don't. Not with Randall. Yeah, I heard. We'll figure it out. Michonne? We just need to get back to our boat and Let's go. Let's see if I can find us a ride out of here. How many are there? Only three. Beat the hell out of Norma and Randall. What? We can't let them escape. Great. We won't. Why can't you just let us escape? If we're just trying to go away, let us just go away. 
We might have to fight our way out. Okay. So, what do we? Ah, that's what I'm. There's a for. boat we can use. We'll take them out if we have to. Them or us. No, we are not killing people. Okay, Pete. I really don't want to kill people. I I feel like from the way they're talking, a lot of the citizens here probably really just do think that there's a danger. I think there's mostly just there's just a ton of misunderstanding. And generally, I'd like to believe that misunderstandings can be worked out, but I don't think in a post-apocalyptic situation like this it, they, that really is going to happen. It's especially we're we're so far into things now that people they're not going to take chances, right? You don't take a chance on a stranger. Oh, I'm sure we can work it out the way Pete's talking. I, I don't think we can now, Pete. Especially when we have... I think we could have if it were just Norma. But it's not. We've got Randall. We've got this existence situation where we're not still, still sure entirely what was going on with Sam and Greg and their relationship to this people and what happened to the boat full of executed people we saw before. There's a lot of unknowns here. I think probably a lot of the citizens living here aren't necessary. I don't think it's like a city of evil people or something. Um, but... In their eyes now, we're a big threat and everybody's out to get us. So, I'd rather not kill anyone, but if we have to, the key thing is to, we need to just try to get out of here with as little damage done as we can and never come back. I'll give myself up. No, it's not going to help anything. No one dies. Pete. No, it's stupid. No. And I'll find a way back to you. I can reason with these people. No, you can't. That'll never work. Pete, they'll kill you. They won't. They will. You start butchering their people. And our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. Are there, some other people are already butch butchered. It's too late, Pete. I'm doing what's best for my crew. That includes you. <sighs> Pete! It probably will help us, but it's foolish. You shouldn't do this. Run! We gotta stop him! Now! Yeah, we are gonna stop him. Show no! What are you doing? I could have talked them down. No, you couldn't have. Chances. I really don't think he could have. Get ready. <laughs> and they're like, oh crap. Get off the boat. Man, Michonne's pretty awesome. Just a little fire, we can handle it. Oh boy. I feel bad about slicing that person, but I guess we gotta do what we gotta. You okay? Those people. Let's go, Pete. Holy shit! They're over there! Come on, swim for the boat! She's right. I mean, I I get where Pete's coming from. I do, but the situation is already horrible, Pete. We just got to get out of here now. It's not salvageable. Why? Come on. Hands off! Get them up! You've already stolen our shit. You're not taking our boat too. Walk away. You don't want to do this. Oh, I very much. Do. All right. Hit it, Michonne. Let's go. Fire! Come on, guys. It's spreading too fast. Oh, I'm gonna feel pretty terrible. We didn't like uh, accidentally set their whole town ablaze, did we? Oh, that's not good. Well, that gets us a little distance. But if they take our motor out. Wow, we, yeah, um, how did the fire <laughs> spread to everything? Yeah, I feel bad about this whole thing. It, it just, like I said, a whole lot of misunderstanding. What are you going to do? Yeah, I don't, I really don't feel that we can salvage anything at this point. There's not a way that we're going to be able to convince them that 
we're not actually bad people and it's just a series of mistakes and whatever else. I don't know, it's a little odd. Generally, I, I like to, to hope that you can work things out, but I don't know, as I'm playing here in this situation, we're being shown, I'm feeling like, Pete, you're a nice guy, but you're a fool. You're a fool. It's not going to happen. As he's sitting there saying, I could have talked to him. I could reason with these people. I No, you really, really can't. They're, like we said, they'll just kill him. They'll just kill him. They're already convinced, right from the start, that we were stealing their stuff, even though we weren't. They already didn't want it. They were suspicious of any of our story. They're not buying it. Plus, we... We've got the, the weird situation with the, all of the people they killed before. I mean, it just... They were never going to just hear us out. Norma might have, but Randall wouldn't, and that's enough to tip everything against us. So now Pete's probably all pissed off at us, but... I'm fairly well convinced that we saved his life. His plan would not have worked. And yeah, I feel bad that... It didn't have to happen this way. You gotta learn to keep your machete on your back. Instead of hack your way out, because that doesn't always work. They weren't gonna listen. You're crazy Pete. if you think Norman listened to you. I think she would have done anything to avoid that. She didn't know that that was a possibility. All I'm saying is, next time, let me do what I do first. No, it was gonna get us killed. Doesn't work. Your machete can do the talk. There's no way we can get back to our boat. We can hide out at my house until it's clear. My dad can help you. It's not far. You. We'll get there before morning. Your dad. Why didn't you mention him before? I don't want normal looking for him. I'll tell you more on the way. Okay. Please do. Enlighten me. What is this whole situation? With you and Greg and Norma and everything else. Who are they signaling? Oh god. Okay, this is a problem. Oh, were they just hoping to draw all the walkers to it? That's a pretty decent plan. Down. Get to cover. Go. Okay, I guess follow them. We gotta put some distance between us and Norma. Hold the walkers go for them instead. Mm. Now that's we can lose them in the woods. How are we gonna do it, that? That's two of them, two walkers, shot in the head. That it seems I mean well. So the flare was launched from that area, which seems like they'd be launching it to, to draw the walkers over to us, since they did launch it and you know, land it right by us. But the two shots so far have each been headshots to a walker, almost as if someone's helping us. They wouldn't have shot the flare to give themselves better visual over here to aid us, would they? There's... Huh. We'll have to see how this plays out. Yeah. It's not like we're just gonna walk through those things. Well, you can just walk through them, depending on the situation, so... Just watch. Sam's like, what are you doing? <laughs> At least she's going along with it. Ew. Jesus Christ, Michelle. What? You do what you gotta, Pete. He can be as horrified as he likes. She's a survivor. She's gonna get through this. Now we walk. Stay close. Stay quiet. 
As long as we don't bump into any of them, we'll be fine. So good. Yeah, that's that's three headshots. Someone's helping us. Michonne, keep it together. Michonne, what is it? Nothing. We're good. Just keep moving. Walkers. I don't think there's anything worse than that. Just keep going. Michonne, slow down. Shit. Someone's clearing the way for us, guys. I, I can't believe that worked. Keep Just quiet. Glad it did. Oh. Okay, he's obviously gonna shoot us to kill us. But someone back there, the sniper, was helping us. So who do we have on the boat that is possibly an ally? Or in the boat city? The crew's gonna have to wait. We'll circle back when things cool off. Better not take long. Don't like the thought of Oak left unsupervised. There's a shortcut to my house. But you're not gonna like him. Why? <sighs> I know the way up. This will work. All right. How are we supposed to climb this? Carefully. Well, if we survive this, I won't complain about going up the rigging. It doesn't look that terrible. Craig and I climbed it one by one. Uh, we're gonna have to all go together, I think, though. But I don't think we have time for that. Yeah. Follow my lead. Okay, so maybe it's Some not fucking shortcut. Well, if, if we can get up here though, maybe we can topple it behind us and it'll slow them down for sure. Just go for it. Think of it like playing on the jungle gym at recess. School days, come on. Okay, uh, is that the side that I wasn't paying attention to where Sam stepped? To nope, no. Nope. Okay, that's not good, but we're all right. Oh boy. Okay, just keep climbing. You okay? Holy shit. Hold on. I got this. Yeah, I'm fine. Meet you, up top. Randall, I found you guys just keep doing what you do. This way. Okay, we gotta move. No. Shit. Come on, you can do this, Michonne. You're awesome, and you can do anything. So come on, you got it. Yeah, just jump and swing. Um. Uh. 
Okay, we gotta move, guys. Now, because they're gonna shoot at us. It's fine, keep going. And jump. Fucking gun. <laughs> Sam, jump. Oh, whoops, I missed that. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so Sam being shot really sucks. But, as long as Pete climbs up to- oh no, she looks really dead. Okay, she's not, she's not. We're bandaging, so. Something in the way her eyes were there looked bad, but I think we're okay. Okay. Michonne. You'll be alright, Sam. I'm gonna get you home. Uh, just tell us where to go. And yeah, on the plus side, they can't really follow us up this way, so that's something. It would have been way better if Sam hadn't got shot, but... My house is up ahead. We're not far. <sighs> Man, this place is just crawling with walkers. I found Norma's place a while back, when it was just a couple of boats anchored to a pier. They... It had some supplies just sitting out in normal cotton. Well, you shouldn't have tried to steal I their didn't stuff. I she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. And, and now Greg is dead. Don't beat yourself up, Sam. Well, why did you go from take Don't her stuff again? Move on. But you stole from them again? I got greedy. We, we were desperate. Norm, Norma, I... Uh, I never should have pushed No, her. you shouldn't have. I know I'm sounding really blamey here, but I mean... So in the first place, you saw someone else's supplies and you stole them. That sucks. And then, they're decent enough to let you go. And especially after we talked to Norma, like, I could see her letting Sam go. I can... I, again, I don't think Norma's a bad person. And so she was good to this kid and was like, Alright, we'll let you go, kiddo. But then she went back and stole from her again. Well, yeah, no wonder Norma's so pissed. Come on. Ugh. Strikes me as a woman who doesn't like to be pushed. This last time, I thought we could just hide this stuff on the ferry. But Greg, he, he didn't think it was safe. I, I should have... Listen. God, I'm, I'm dizzy. All right, we're gonna have to carry her. Thanks. She's young, I don't want to hold things against her too much, but man, did she make a bungle of this. Why couldn't- why didn't- I'm not looking so good. Your family just joined Norma's people, instead of stealing from them. Even worse. Talking helps. I- I don't want to black out on you. Stay with us, Sam. We're gonna get you home. All right. Keep her focused. We're family. What are they like? Dad, Dad was a lawyer. So I never won any arguments with him. Uh, my brothers, James and, uh, and Alex, 
I look up to Greg so much, they're going to be destroyed. Alright, we're going to have to set her down a second. Or not. Stick close. It's too dangerous out here. Dad was right. He said none of us should leave the house. You shouldn't have. Walkers are trouble. People are worse. I didn't listen. You knew the risk with Norman. You still took your brother. If we hadn't gotten food, we all would have died. Alright, that was kind of a crappy thing for me to say, but I feel like she's young and she does need to understand. I don't want to... I guess I'm looking at this as a bit of a teaching moment. Which sounds so... condescending, but she's very young. Obviously, she's learned a lesson the hard way. Her brother's dead. But I do kind of want to sort of drive it home that this is something that she should have fought through the consequences before she did. She did know there were risks involved. I mean, she how many times did she steal from Norma? She said, this last time we thought we could hide it on the ferry. So, like, how many times has there been? It sounds like more than just the time Norma let her go and then another try. It sounds like it's it's been multiple things. So, it was a really bad idea. It was a really stupid idea. It got her brother killed. Possibly her killed. She's not doing well here. We've got this whole town of people on our tail. It. I'm hoping that she comes through this okay. And I don't want her to beat herself up about it forever. But I do want her to really take this to heart. And to really think things through before she tries any nonsense like this again. Doesn't mean I don't regret it. <laughs> That's not so bad. As long as you learn from yeah. it. Yeah. I, I don't know. How am I supposed to tell my dad about Greg? It's gonna ruin him. I don't know if I can. Well... Just give him the truth. He deserves to know what really happened. You don't know him like I do. After Mom, he isn't a fan of bad news. Well, that's just life, though, kiddo. Sometimes bad things happen. <sighs> Made it. All right. Same. And we did just get an autosave, so I'm gonna go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back in next time. At least we got to her house. It's, it sounds like she's taking a turn for the worse, but hopefully we can patch her up. Um, hopefully not everyone from the boat isn't going to find her dad's place here because he already lost one kid, possibly losing another. She's got two... Well, I'm assuming both little brothers. Is Alex a brother as well? That could be a girl. But more kids in there. Ugh, I hope everyone can pull through. We'll see how it goes.